My name is Sean John. I'm the Chief Security Advisor for the UK at Microsoft. We have a very strong risk-based approach to security. And if you hear our global CISO talk, it effectively draws a picture of a, a three-legged stool. There's three legs to that stool. So obviously, information is one of them. Device health is another, and identity is another. And the core is that if any one of those legs is broken, the stool becomes unstable. So effectively, it's a focus on ensuring that you've got good identity but that that good identity is from a device that you can know about and trust and have some health in. Uh, and then thirdly, knowing that you've got the protection around the data, particularly the sensitive data that you need to have. And it's all those three together. Some of the innovation Microsoft's doing in the area of security is really around the fact that as we move towards these big cloud platforms, there's a few things we can do. So one, we can start to make hygiene better. The fact that people don't keep systems up to date is, is always has been and still is one of the biggest issues that you have with security. But then it's also looking at things like, let's take some of the the artificial intelligence and machine learning approaches that we have in other areas of our, of our portfolio and look at how we can take some of those techniques and apply them to security. The IT security landscape's really changed quite a lot. So now cybersecurity is much more part of mainstream thinking, mainstream business. That means that the impact of any issues are much higher. Some of us got to psychologically change to, to address that and realise that it is now a, a business function with some technology expertise rather than technology function where you occasionally have to speak to the business. Instead of starting with the, the technology and the no and the why it's a bad idea, actually look at the why is the business trying to do that, what productivity aims are they trying to get, and then give um, a reasoned and involved um, idea of, of what the threats might come from the opportunity, maximise opportunity while minimising threat. The one of the challenges historically, people just didn't want to uh, look at the threat. What's happened over the last, what, four to five years is pretty much weekly, bi-weekly, you've got breach notifications, big breaches being uh, in the news. I do think we're very much uh, in the middle of the journey where people in business are now thinking about, you know, what is the cyber risk of something I'm doing. As we go more into IoT, we've got to worry about exploits against that and we see things such as the Mirai botnet which can cause denial of service by using IoT technology. As technology becomes more pervasive we really are seeing the externalities rising in, in, uh, in cyber so one organisation that doesn't invest and doesn't do things right can actually have a massive impact on everyone else. As we go into data and AI and machine learning we've got to look at people trying to game that in order to make money out of it.